Eager. Creative. Ambitious. Active. Change maker. Challenging. Positive. Driven minded, open and, and positive. Yeah, I wanted to say satisfied in the sense of you're not satisfied with the way the world is right now. Um, but maybe ambitious is then the more positive word to it. So you're really striving to make the world a better place. Passionate. Curious. Driven. We want to uh, help the world or make the world an even better place. I just wanted to get a bit more out of my studying curriculum, I think. I wanted a little bit more of a challenge. For me, I had a personal motivation just because I thought the topic was super interesting and I think it's very important for our future to think about more. And um, yeah, that's why I think it was an intrinsic motivation to join. No doubt the people that I studied with, I've grown a lot with them and learned so much from them. Um, and I know a lot of them will do amazing things in the future, so it's also like a really cool network to be a part of. I like most working with students. Teaching, uh, but not teaching like telling, but teaching like interacting and, 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 and asking and getting responses and respond to that and, and, and get it. Find, uh, uh, find the content through a dialogue. Of course, we need some knowledge every now and then, uh, but it's, it's working with students. Programs were very informal and close with our teachers. I also don't see uh, like going to class as something that is being put upon us. I think everyone who's in the class really wants to be there and actively participate. I don't see it as a lecture giving a lecture, but more as a discussion in which everyone is accepted and able to see and to speak what they what they want to share. Mm, I think the variety of different people and also different studies. Doing an honors program uh, helps you not only professional but also personally, which a lot of people tend to often do. I think what I like most about the program is the fact that the teachers or lecturers consider our opinions when shaping the curriculum. I think that we as a team expect more from our students than you know, when students are doing average uh, bachelor education programs in the Netherlands. We challenge them especially uh, in research and in future thinking. We are really thought to be critical in what we do and what we think. This honors is, I think, related to sort of the intensity of the program. So we expect students to um, yeah, put in more time and, and effort into their studies. You have to communicate in a very different way from when you're communicating with, in my case, all kinds of business administration or IT people. I mean, you've got all kinds of different people and it's, you've got the same goal, but you've got different perspectives, different views. Interculturally, because there are so many diverse people there and they come like they have so many different ideas and opinions and values and just kind of bringing together all those ideas and those values and those mindset into one and like doing a project together i think that's super challenging finding not necessarily a working solution but the best solution in the honors program it was much more challenging and much more saying well i don't think the same way as you do and why is that and how can we integrate this into our group work that you know yourself in terms of what, what are my strengths, what are my weaknesses and how can I develop myself into a, a professional. I think um, being critical in what we do, uh, finding good sources and arguments, making our uh, case really strong and also admitting what our weaknesses are and what might not be our best assets. Uh, we learn to be independent, Positive. It attracts people that have a very strong intrinsic motivation to have a positive impact, to make a change. And because of that, you see there's already a much stronger work ethic in uh, a lot of these students. One of the fun uh, things of working in the honors college is, is the passion, the ambition, the drive the students have. It's 
a lot about teamwork. It's a lot about working together and different views, different perspectives. And the only place where you usually learn that is while you're in the field, while you're actually working and everything. Since you've, you, know, you get the chance at an honors program to do that from an earlier point, uh, I would really say, yeah, that there is a difference. Yeah, I think standing up for your own opinion in a really respectful manner. More solution focused instead of problem focused. On average, honors students um, are better at looking at challenges from a broader perspective. People are not there for themselves. They're there because they think that they can do something better for humanity as a whole or for the planet and because they really want to change something. So I think these are people that really challenge the system and challenge the status quo. And I think that's what makes them unique and I think that's also really part of their honors DNA, if you could say. To add to the interviews, we surveyed both GPCM and Honoris Programs students. We will now highlight the results. More than half of Honoris students strongly agree that their growth mindset outweighs their fixed mindset, whilst 2% strongly disagree with the statement asked. Moreover, more than half of the respondents agree that the program has taught them to spend time analyzing problems rather than coming up with solutions right away. Furthermore, most of the respondents agree that the practical experience gained in the program will prepare them for their future job. Finally, more than half of the respondents agree that honors students and teachers create some community far beyond education. Now that we have highlighted some of our findings, we would like to move on to the impact the honors education has on the labor market. We value the learning community a lot, the attention for, for personal leadership and also personal development. I think what I would say is that the added value of the honors program is, is, uh, is that people who did the honors program are great generalists. Okay. Clear capacity for problem solving, creative thinking, it's also connected to a kind of a work ethic, also a capacity for doing research. So an affinity with also theoretical knowledge, not only practical knowledge. The things you learn at an honors program, it's completely different from what you learn at school. Mostly about, uh, well, the, the multidisciplinary part of it and, well, working together with people with different views and with different backgrounds. And I, I really think it, it broadens your view as a student. Indirectly, the way that we've been educated to think and the knowledge bases that we've gotten also around sustainability and these things, which you can imagine in consultancy are becoming more and more important. It's really valuable for them, even though I don't think they would necessarily know it's because I have an honors degree, but it's clearly showing that it's, it's useful in the work field. Having that passion to go through it and to really try and change things and change the system from within I think that's one of the things that definitely will be important later on and the honors program it's such a diverse group of people and I think that's also how the labor market will develop and I think the more diverse the team the better and I think the honors program definitely prepares you for that. What I do notice is that working with all kinds of different people that really helped me in my job since I'm working at quite a creative company uh, we also have a bit of interim work at that. Yeah, so really well. Um, for me, uh, I've never been worried about the job. Project management in itself uh, has such a broad application and the same goes for change management. And there are so many companies who need people like us um, and I notice a lot when I'm talking to people in a professional environment. Uh, also while I was still studying that uh, they were really uh, surprised by our level of professionality already. It really helped me communicate in several other ways. And when you know how to communicate with different kinds of people, you automatically know better what to say at what point in time. We are educating our students for future competences. And we follow the educational framework of the, of the UNESCO for su Education for Sustainable Development. In Dutch that's called the 21st Century Skills and Competences. And that means that we're more focusing on collaboration competences, future thinking competences, critical thinking, system thinking, uh, and that sort of competences. Which means that you have a 
wider range of jobs available once you graduate. The best thing you can do right now is to have an unusual combination of skills. Don't play it safe. Don't go for the bigger organizations, but go for the place where you can make a difference. Sometimes that's in a bigger organization, whether public or private, that really is expressing to want to make to want to make changes. But sometimes it's in a startup environment or in a small NGO. Know that you are in a network of really valuable people, and by building on that, you can grow a lot. But if you don't really uh, take the initiative, things are not just going to come to you. Stay close to your heart. What do you want to do and where do you think you can make a contribution? Yeah, well, actually already as a student is my main tip, like start building your network. Just add everyone on LinkedIn. So I would say it's somewhere between drive, ambition and passion. All very enthusiastic. I think most honest alumni uh, do not accept uh, things that are the way they are because they have always been that way. We're all uh, open to one and each other. Being open-minded, being driven, like no matter how young you are, they already know I want to do this. Okay. Community feeling. Warm. I think it's the passion and the drive. Proactiveness. Join this LinkedIn group to network with the entire WHC community. For the first time, the honors programs and GPCM students, alumni and lecturers can be found together on one forum. It is a wonderful place for discussions, questions and socializing.